It's that time. Woo! I go sleep and try to have a good start to school. <laughs> I woke up and I just kept repeating in my head. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm very tired. I'm going to shower right now. I haven't chosen an outfit yet. So we're just going to do that after. I'm not in the mental state to be choosing first day of school outfit in this moment. So I'm a shower. I'm showered. I'm going to quickly do my like after shower routine and then we're going to choose my outfit. I've checked the weather. It's still supposed to be quite warm out today. Like 21 degrees and there's like a heat warning. So I think I'm going to wear shorts and then some sort of t-shirt. But I don't know what. This is what I've chose. I'm happy with it. I think it'll look good. I ate breakfast and forgot to record. I also can't stop sneezing and I definitely have like fall allergies. It's just wonderful. Okay, I don't know what to do with my hair because it's still wet. I don't know what to do with it. I definitely don't have any scrunchies that are this color. I guess I could just go with black because like <laughs> my shirts are black. So yeah, that's what I'll do. But I don't even know if I'm going to put it up. I'm going to brush my teeth first and then I will like worry about my hair. My teeth have been brushed. My earrings next. I also don't have many green earrings, but I have like one pair that will work. I'm gonna do these ones and these ones. There we go. I'm gonna try to lightly brush through my hair because it is still wet. I think putting it up would be cute, but it's wet. So that's like not really a good idea. I can try to pull it off. I'm not blow drying my hair because I don't even have a blow dryer. So she has to air dry and I just have to work around that. Oof. I did this and it, it felt like I was breaking my hair off. I'm gonna take it out and I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna keep it down. Well, I don't want to. I want to do something, but like, I don't have funny options. I'm gonna keep it down and it'll be fine, and then I have an elastic if I decide to put it up later in the day once it's dry. It's whatever. I do have all my ugly locker stuff from previous years here. I'm gonna bring it, and then I hope to change it out sometime throughout the year, because I feel like I'll feel lost without it. Like, my locker will be so empty. So I'm gonna put something there, but like, this stuff is really gross. Okay, I'm gonna wear my little Morse code necklace, and then for rings I have my promising, and another little heart ring. <laughs> I hate this. I don't want to be here. I want to leave. I want to run away. My backpack is like huge. It's kind of funny actually how big it is. It's like comical. It's a comical size. It is so nice to be just holding my phone and not holding anything else because last year with how tiny my backpack was, I had to hold so much stuff. So I left quite early. A lot earlier than I was leaving last year and I'm hoping to continue leaving around around this time. I was never given my locker combination and we're supposed to be given them today. And I think that is so unorganized. And I'm really hoping they aren't just like posted on a wall because then anyone has access to anyone's and that's stupid. Oh my god. I had a guidance appointment, got two courses switched. Everything is working out. I got my locker combination, I got into my locker. It's really tiny, but it, it works. I'm freaking out. That was so stressful, but everything's good. Also, why do I look so cute right now? <laughs> Okay, well, time. The day's done. I didn't record barely anything because I actually feel like didn't use my phone in class. Let me go. It's so chaotic as usual. I hate it. I'll talk when I get home. <laughs> okay. Hello. School day's over. I'm home. That was a very smooth and good first day of school. I'm 
very happy with it so i get there super early i actually ended up walking like halfway to school with one of my friends so that was nice and then i met up with another friend inside i went to my locker but i didn't have access to my combination yet so i just like looked at it and was like that's cool and then i went to my first period class which weirdly enough was in the same classroom as my first period class last year and we had a supply teacher which was weird we did some basic things like a survey and one little first assignment which i did that so well like i watched all the videos answered all the questions and as i pressed turn in the bell ring it was like the most satisfying moment of my life oh first period was visual design by the way then i went to math very fun teacher he swears which i feel like is always a green flag he was talking for a while just all about like basic math things i don't know then i had a guidance appointment so i went over to my guidance appointment i got right in and totally changed my entire first semester <laughs> so i swapped out one course that i wanted to take for my third period this semester i got rid of visual design so that one assignment it's already been marked. I got 13 out of 13 on it and I literally dropped that class. I feel awful because I like that teacher too, but it's okay. It's okay. So now I have math period one and then I have foods period two and I have foods with grade tens, but like I don't really care. I just won't know anyone, but it should be okay. So then I left my guidance appointment and I went back to my math class and I was like, hey, I'm leaving, but I'll be back tomorrow. Just in a different period. And then I went to my foods class, which is really awkward because I joined late and I don't know anyone, but it seems really fun and I'm excited about it. Then it was lunchtime, I had a nice lunch with my friends. We all sat in the cafeteria and played cards. And then I got to go to my new class, which is accounting. And that went super well. And I love the teacher, he's so funny. And then at the end of the day, I went to sociology, anthropology, and psychology. And oh my goodness, this was the his class like it's so interesting like i was just so engaged with everything he's talking about he was just doing an introduction in the class the entire time talking about the things that we're gonna be learning about it sounds so cool and i'm so invested and interested in it and i just i can't wait oh i did get access to my locker at lunch i went to the office and got my combination i got in my locker it's so tiny i think i, I talked about this when i had my little bathroom big it does work like i have to really slam my binders in there but it holds my backpack nicely and it's much better than nothing so yeah overall very good first day i have math homework that i didn't know about but i figured out that i have it so i'm gonna get that done oh i don't think i've mentioned this in any of my videos yet but so i've been wanting to keep like really organized this school year and everything and i'm planning on using notion to do that i've made an account and started setting it up but like i have no idea what i'm doing so it's not nearly finished i really want to make like an assignment tracker so that i can track when i'm doing what and everything that i have to be focusing on i think that'll help me so much i just want to have all my classes laid out so that i can focus on each one this this is definitely my hard semester though. Next semester I have working with infants and young children, English, the only hard thing, and then drama and visual arts. It's gonna be a breeze I think and I'm excited I just have to get through this one. So yeah I am very excited and I have a good feeling about this school year. Yeah that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone else's first days of school went well and that's it. <laughs> Bye!